Hey, hey, it's the Coach How are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the channel, and of course, the Coach to glory i hope you guys are having a great day i know the world is going crazy at the moment but i'm really happy that you're here to take your mind off of things and hopefully just focus on something different for a little while because right now boys we are going into the season finale we are going into the last five games of the season within the second stage of the Scottish Prem. Now, at the moment, in real life, a lot of football is being cancelled. Probably the Premier League is going to be cancelled for this season or suspended uh, for now. And uh, it's, it's, it's insane, isn't it? It's like... It's like a movie. Like, you can't quite understand what's going on. Like, for example, PB Gaming said, Thoughts on Rugani from Juventus getting coronavirus. Not only Rugani, Gabbiadini has it, Callum hudson Adoy has announced that he had it for a couple of days. Probably a couple of Chelsea players might have had it as well. It's just crazy to see what's going on. Rugani is a defender at Juventus. He plays against Ronaldo in the training sessions every single day. So probably Ronaldo is at risk as, as well. This is just, this is something that is not really like no one is safe from this apart from younger people like the ones that are probably watching this video I don't expect anyone here to be above the age of 50 if so please be careful but um, most young people will not have any issues with this it's just gonna be like a regular cold but for the older people please stay safe and help out your grandparents I don't want to say this more but I really want people to understand this I want you to help your grandparents as much as you can, but without really getting in contact with them, okay? So be careful with that. Now, we have this Celtic episode, uh, this um, Rangers episode, not Celtic, of course, but we are currently in a decent spot, boys. Last episode, Gakpo has shown what he can do. In that right wing position, he has been incredible. Missed out on a hat trick. Talking about a hat trick, let's look at the fan objectives. Battle of Glasgow, we have a match coming up against Celtic, so I'm looking forward to that, and that's going to be the last game of the season. Elbow Palo is looking good so far. 17 goals on uh, Morelos. Hatrick Hero, we have zero out of three. So it looks like, um, yeah, next season, the combined pace of my defenders could possibly be below 200. And that is not a good thing at all. Just saying. And because of that objective uh, now being ahead of us and we, us having to get three goals in every single match with one player, we are going ahead and playing every single match ourselves, especially since we are on the same amount of points as Celtic anyways, and we want to try and win this title. Now, as always, guys, it would be much appreciated if you guys can show some support on the video. And of course, most importantly, go ahead and subscribe and turn notifications on. A lot of content coming your way in these upcoming days. And hopefully a sprint to glory in like the next two days that's the plan to get back into it once again but right now Motherwell is the first opponent hopefully we can get a hat trick what I'm going to do though for my attackers I'm going to tell all of them to stay forward okay because I don't want these guys getting involved into the defense because when they do it is a struggle and Gakpo was on comeback on defense that is definitely not something that I want to have now since I definitely don't want to have a bunch of slow defenders in the next season four defenders with 50 pace we need to get something done here otherwise we might have to buy a bunch of defenders who just are slow and old but have really good high and high defensive stats which I guess could be a decent little experiment to go through, but I definitely don't want to experience that myself, boys. So right here, we're going to try and win this game. And of course, we're going to try and score some goals with the boys. Beautiful. Good pass. Morelos. Gakpo. Gakpo. Now. Stops. Brings it back in. Aribo. Morelos. Come on, left-footed finish. Quality finish. We are going for goals with Morelos. He is taking a little bit more of a gap between him and the next one in the top scorer list he now has a two goal gap and that's going to be great El Bufalo is on it immediately against Motherwell we start off with a great attack Gakpo beautiful pass down to Aribo Aribo quality pass into the feet of Morelos and he will not miss from right there on his left foot even puts his leg through his opponent's leg somehow manages to still gather enough power so we'll take that we're up 1-0 boys and we have to focus on Morelos now he's the one that has to get the three goals so hopefully we can pull that off also by the way in the last episode there was a comment from Javani Thompson and he says Johnny don't do an Ajax career mode because they are the best team in their league with great players so choose a team that you can rebuild and take them far now here's the deal boys 
the coach to glory was never about doing a road to glory okay i think some people are getting this series entirely wrong this is not about getting to like bad teams and then taking them to the next level no that's not the point i mean rangers even is like the at least the second best team in scotland and if i do ta take ajax yes of course they are one of the best teams in in uh, not being clearly the best team in netherlands but the thing that I'm trying to achieve here is I'm trying to achieve an incredible managerial career and I'm trying to win Champions League titles and with Ajax the big goal wouldn't be the Eredivisie, the big goal would be to try and win the Champions League title. That's going to be the goal that we have with them. That's the same thing that we did with Olympique Lyon last year. Olympique Lyon considered one of the best teams in France of course and we have won the Champions League with them. We have also taken over by Munich who are clearly the best team in Germany and we have won the title over there as well people were okay with it we have also won the titles with Real Madrid and people were okay with that so I don't see a thing of like no don't use Ajax don't do that it's just it's just not the way this series is run it is a coach to glory where I start low and I work my way up to the best teams in the world it's not about me making teams the best ones in the world it's about me joining the best ones Morelos come on now ah oh, unlucky beautiful Let's go. Morelos. Morelos. Now cuts back in. Near post. Ah, it's a good save. Okay, we can't use him too much though. We gotta make sure that we have other people doing things as well. I'm gonna choose Morelos here to run near post. While everyone else is far post. He's gonna jump up, not get to it, of course. Just don't score from corners, really. Never do. Harold down the wings against Williams. Williams catches up. It's a good pass. It's an amazing save from Fodderingham. Did not expect that at all, but he has actually pulled it off. Congratulations. Oh, 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 get it away. Whew. Kill it off the line, and they shoot again, and it's Goldson once more. Goldson is doing bits in the defense, along with his goalkeeper. All right, can we calm down with the volleys now? 42nd minute, another incredible strike from Motherwell. They are definitely taking over control of this game now. Morelos... Stops, brings it back into Ryan Kent, and the first half is done. Another thing that I wanted to ask you guys is, how many of you guys actually are playing this new Call of Duty mode, which is the War Zone? I am absolutely in love with it. The, the past three days, we have played it with Biscuit all the time. Um, after he got done editing our videos, shout out to Biscuit uh, for still providing quality work, and then hope, uh, and then also playing some good games with me. I will probably hop on stream, play some Card War Zone with him tonight, just so you guys are aware of it. I am really looking forward to do that because it's been such a blast. And in uh, both days where we have played yesterday and the day before, we have actually won games as well. So we're actually getting quite decent at the game and I really want to be really good at this game. We're playing it on PC where you play against insane players and that makes it tough but I really want to be decent at that game as well to somehow provide even more content for you guys out there. There we go into Gakpo down to the right bringing it back into the middle. Ryan Kent in the center waiting for the run off. Gakpo again bringing it back into Ryan Kent it was a beautiful play. No finish coming in though. Beautiful. Good passing, but Gakpo over to Morelos on his left foot. One more time, Morelos. Two goals, 57 minutes. He wants that hat-trick. He wants it desperately. Let's go, man. Beautiful strike for Morelos. And uh, we are getting close to hopefully at least getting one hat-trick for our hat-trick hero objective. Great strike. Amazing turn. Once again, Gakpo, the one that gets the assist. Great turn from him, just fooling the defender, absolutely beautiful. And that takes it up to 2-0 and at the same time takes him to 19 goals, which hopefully will keep him in that first position. Go on then, bring it back in. Morelos plays it through into Ryan Kent. Ryan Kent will stop here, played across into Gakpo, who will get a goal for himself this time. He couldn't go without getting a goal this time around as well. Gakpo has been scoring loads down that right hand side and that was actually beautiful football coming in from Rangers. I wish we were taking part in a European competition this season, man. That would have been great. I would have loved to take this Rangers team like far in the Europa League. That would have been sick, but it seems like they haven't qualified last season, which is a big shame, but 
hey, right now it's looking like we might take them into the Champions League and that is just as beautiful. 72nd minute boys, time to make some changes and for once, since we told people not to come back on defense, Kent has actually been doing quite all right. So he was playing on a right wing position and he had come back on defense, which I never put in. And uh, for that reason, he was so low on stamina, which we now found out. So it's good to know. Jozviak is going to come in and Hasty is going to come. Actually, no, we're going to keep Gakpo. We're going to bring on Gilmore and McCrory to try and help our defense a little bit more. Or do we take off Barisic and bring on Nogueira Jr.? I think that's what we do. Yeah, he's a bit too tired. Good passing. Here we go, Morelos again on his left foot, please. Ah, oh, this time he can't move as quick. The stamina is affecting the big man up front. Buffalo is struggling. Good run of play from Motherwell. Oh my lord. What a finish that would have been. They missed it. Foddering him gets it away. Beautifully done by Motherwell. We have to admit it. That was incredible. Jozviak now. Go on, Jozviak. Ooh, he gets taken out. That should be a yellow card. Gakpo, beautiful defending. Gakpo, he gets it into Morelos for the hat trick. Let's go. We've done it with just a few minutes to go. El Bufalo with his hat trick. Get in, boys. Beautiful. What a strike on his left foot once again. Morelos isn't left footed, is he? I'm now starting to wonder. Gakpo, beautiful. He gets himself three assists and a goal. That is massive. The new signing man, we might have, oh, the ball goes through his leg, of course. The new signing of Gakpo, a lot of people thought, oh man, it would have been much nicer if he got Haji. Sadly, we didn't have the money to do so, but the replacement has been incredible. Morelos, now on 20 goals? Yes, get in. Oh no, that's a good cross. Foddering him once again, getting it. Can we end this game with the clean sheet? We should be able to do so after that shot. 4-0 for Rangers. Celtic, that's a message to you. We're coming for that title. We're not going to give it to you. We are going to take over the Scottish Prem in the second stage. Celtic was leading the entire season. But at this point, it's Morelos and the boys taking it to the next level. And with that, we hopefully will be holding a trophy at the end of the season. Beautiful game. Quality defending. Got really lucky as well. Motherwell had some huge chances. But luckily, we do have a beast of a striker right there just finishing whenever he wants to well Nogueira Jr. is still growing people he is actually going to be quite an asset for whichever team we are moving to we want to take him with us we got to keep that young man on our list of players that we want to take with us obviously Zaracho is in there and boys Celtic have already bottled it they are now on a draw they have gone from 88 to 89 points and Celtic is losing their minds they know that we are here to take over at this stage and boys the next team is going to be an interesting one we have scattered player going away which is interesting but the most important part right here is that we still have all of these beastie players left in our team who have lost a little bit of potential sadly ben stewart has gone to 89 potential this guy has gone up to 86 max 86 max again 93 max which is good to see 88 max on arthur graham who i had a lot of faith in uh, and then we have aiden reed who is clearly one of the biggest talents we have in the team at the moment and uh, someone was saying that i should sign all the youth academy players just so rangers has a bright future so for now guys we're going to do exactly that we're going to sign everyone that we can sign so that rangers in the future will have some beasts in their squad that we could potentially bring into our teams in the future as well and here it is the second game of today's episode rangers of course will have to deal with yet another hat trick if we can chase it down that'd be beautiful if we can get two games with hat tricks straight away that would be something that would satisfy me a lot now i'm going to try and this time again not discriminate whoever scores the first goal is going to be the one that we focus on to try and get the goals in of course but at the same time we have to make sure that we keep on winning because celtic of course is a very very tough opponent in this title race as we bring that cross in towards ryan kent who's not going to get to it but jack is going to pick up the pieces here gakpo gakpo lost it morelos nearly had it running through the defense but good start to the game showing a little bit of threat immediately oh oh no no that's a goal that's a goal hearts take the lead okay let's focus up boys that's a good goal 
you know it as soon as the ball flies up a little bit you know a volley is coming in and with that a goal is coming in at the same time it is 1-0 and we're playing at home so the fact that we're down to our opponents here in a crucial stage of the season is not something i like to see boys that's that's really bad fodderingham had no chance there defense was just mispositioned that's a good ball of the eye oh no that's a bad pass let's go goldson good steal now i do want this run this run exactly gakpo come on my man gakpo still going plays it inside morelos that's the finish it's him scoring again it's the 19th minute the perfect partnership between gakpo and morelos it's once again super successful get in boys 1-1 we're back into it. Lovely. Lovely, lovely finish there. And that's a quality attack built up from the right-hand side. A great pass and a composed finish. Not hitting it onto the goalkeeper straight away, as many strikers do in that position. Morelos slots it right past him. And we are back into the game. Let's go. Oh, that was a good turn, you know. He just fooled me big time. Oh, he's, he's a really flareful player, isn't he? Oh my god, this is going to be a goal. This is going to be a goal. Wow. Whoever that was down that right-hand side, the number eight of Hearts did an incredible job. What's his name? There he is, Claire. Impressed, very impressed. Hearts have taken a lead once again. This is a very competitive match, guys. Naismith, Naismith with the cross. He's gonna get that. I don't know why I just played it into him there, but hey, we got it and we gave it away again and it's 3-1. It's 3-1. Celtic have a chance to get back into the title race as Naismith bangs it in off the post. Uh, a former Premier League player right there with a quality finish. That's definitely not what I expected. Awful defending for me. That is 100% my fault. Didn't get the ball away properly. And now here we are, boys. Two goals down at home. Did not expect this after scoring the equaliser, that's for sure. Here goes the run of, Ak of Aribo. Aribo plays it. Oh, here we go. Morelos again. Morelos again. Can he stop and cut back in? Morelos on his left foot. Yes! Get in. I thought he missed there for a second. Get in, boys. Two goals for Morelos. 42nd minute. We can do this. We can come back into this. El Bufalo, once again, successful. Great turn. And the run from Ryan Kent taking away two defenders. That goal has a lot to do with that run right there. That was extremely intelligent. And we have used it as a dummy to get past people and finish it on his left foot again. Now, I need to really know. Hold on a second. Is Morelos left footed? No, he's right footed. But he has a four star weak foot. And it's pure quality. Oh, here we go again, boys. This could be something. This could be something. This could be something. At the far side. Oh my god, Jack. Why am I not scoring? What am I doing? I should have just taken a shot. I was too focused on Morelos there. My fault. Totally my fault. Get back into the game first and then you can focus on objectives. How about that, Johnny? Morelos. Good turn. Pass it. No. No free kick given. Interesting. Very interesting. I was pretty sure that was a foul. But hey, it's okay. First half is done. Five goals have been scored. Sadly, only two from our side. Man, Aribo has to be my favorite midfielder in this team. 100%. He's so good. And Jack lost the ball, so definitely Aribo is my favorite. Aribo again, helping out in the defense and in the attack. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. Our defender has fallen. Our defender has fallen. Fodderingham has saved it. Why is Williams not going to the re... No, man, please. That doesn't make sense. Do you see Williams? He's just standing still. Look at him. He is moving into the middle of the goal, not moving to the near post, where the shot is clearly going to come into... Naismith has scored again. 4-2. Oh, boys. I did not expect this from Hearts, to be honest with you. I thought this would be a little bit of an easier matchup here, but clearly I was wrong. They are on high pressure, aren't they? So if I play the pass fast enough, I should be fine. Gakpo, get in behind, buddy. Uh, it was an interesting attempt, I guess. <sighs> that could be mine. Let's go. Beautiful. Here we go. Morelos in the middle. He's going to score that. The defender catches up again. Unbelievable defending, man. Now I'm going to make some changes, boys. 63rd minute. Gilmore now has gone up to a 71. McCrory and Gilmore coming into the game. Jozviak as well. Gakpo seems tired, but he's doing much more than Kent is at the moment. So we're going to keep Gakpo on the pitch. 
Oh my god, it's going to be 5-2. Wow, they hit the crossbar. They hit the crossbar, boys. Gilmore down into McCrory. McCrory asking for a run of Jozviak. He's going to get that run. Jozviak now is going to abuse that pace. Jozviak, can he get in? He can. Beautiful. Jozviak back into the middle. Oh, the shot is never coming off. I was looking for the cutback to score, but we're not getting it. Don't you dare score from that. Oh my god, he's offside. He's offside. Has to be offside. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. 14 minutes left. Let's score one now. Before the 85th minute, I want to see a goal for us. There we go. Barisic. Great run. Far side. It's Gakpo. Can he get to that? Yes, he can. Gakpo. Finish it. Come on. Yes. Get in. Gakpo. Beautiful control. Good strength. Great composure. Solid finish. 12 minutes to go. Let's come back into this one. At least one point. So we avoid that Celtic actually takes the lead if they win. If we lose and Celtic win, they are ahead of us. And that's something that we can't allow. I would love to get at least one more goal, boys. Beautiful play. Gilmore, beautiful steal. Come on, Gilmore. Keep it up, son. Into Gakpo. Gakpo into the middle. Jozviak now is through. Jozviak is through. Gonna stop. Bring it over. I messed up. I messed up, man. I'm looking for the safe goal instead of looking... Mm, ah, I should have scored. I'm so stupid. Oh, big mistake. Come on. Morelos open. Morelos is open. Morelos is open. Come on. Get in. 92nd minute. Morelos has scored. It's the hat trick. I tried so hard. I'm sorry for tryharding here and trying to get the ball into him over and over again. I know you guys must have lost your mind thinking just freaking shoot and score. And finally, we have done it. Boys, that was so necessary. A quality finish from Morelos. Did not expect him to score there, to be honest. I thought he would shoot at the keeper. But he has done extremely well to get yet another hat-trick for himself. We now have two hat-tricks in one episode. Beautiful comeback into this as well. If Rangers have won their game, it is now the same amount of points as we have. And with that, the title race has just become even more interesting. Morelos, of course, gets the a Player of the Game uh, award. But I would have to say Gakpo, once again, has been incredible alongside him. Gakpo has one goal, two assists. He's great. He is amazing as well alongside him. Ryan Kent doesn't show up at all next to those two. And just like I said, Celtic have won their game. And due to our draw, they are now on the same amount of points as we are. Uh, we do have a goal difference of four, though, which is great. That was, of course, mainly a part of um, the goals that Morelos has scored. Celtic on a goal difference of one. But I do wonder, is it direct comparison at the end of the season? Let me know, guys, in the comments down below. So let's say um, we have played against Celtic and we lost against them, but we still have the same amount of points. Does that mean the direct comparison counts or is the goal difference more important? Please let me know. It will probably make more sense if it is direct comparison since it is kind of a playoff run right at the end. So I would uh, personally prefer it to be like that. But hey, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that situation. But we are now getting closer and closer to the end of the month of May or to the it to the start of the month of May and we do get a scat report now this could have something interesting in it uh not really I mean he does have a decent amount of ah yeah he could be decent rated but not really interested if I'm signing anyone it has to be a beast of a player someone that is just gonna make me go wow you know that's what I'm looking for and I'm not getting it at the moment I'm not getting it oh he has good potential, but terrible overall, so we're not interested. And still not interested in any of these guys. Wow, these are... I, I'm i sad to say, but these guys are actually not that good. Ewan Johnston, he's 17 years old, and he's, he's max at like 49. He's probably like 40 rated, 42, 45, something like that. I can't accept that, boys. In terms of goal scorers, though, it is Morelos taking the league apart. He's on 23 out of 32 matches. And in terms of assists, Camara is up there, our midfielder. 
Interesting. I would have thought that it would have been someone else, but um, Morelos on eight, Aribo on eight as well. Gakpo now on seven assists himself. Aribo has 10 goals this season. He's the second Rangers player in that top scorer list. And then behind him, we have Stewart on eight, who is only a substitute. It just shows how many games he had played up until we actually joined the team. We do have a press conference before we get into the game against Hibernian. Of course, now that I've scored two hat tricks with Morelos, I'm very happy about it i am um just hoping that we can get the third one done as well because i desperately don't want to be playing against uh yeah against uh, with with 200 pace in the back line as a maximum that would be horrible just imagine the emo opponents that we put come up against on ultimate difficulty with 99 pace and they just run past our 50 pace defenders that is going to cause us a lot of issues which i don't want to live through at all in terms of growth though look at noguera jr he has gone from 65 to 71 along with the training that we have been doing he has been going up by himself as well it just shows the pure quality in this young lad he is growing along nicely and we want to keep on growing him and he's going to hopefully be a big part of our team in the future now morelos has grown by plus three um he's 24 years old so to see growth like that is quite impressive camara has done really well as well even though he's not one of the most exciting players on the pitch he's still a quality midfielder especially defensively i do like him a lot mccrory has gone up to a 72 plus three for him Doherty up by plus three actually becoming usable same goes for Middleton but the standout player that we have signed is Gakpo for sure he has been quality and so far he has nine goals and seven assists in 12 games now if you ask me if that is impressive I will tell you that for sure is that is incredible he has some insane stats on him at this stage, man. In 12 games, he has 21 goal contributions. In the first couple of games where I used him, I wasn't so sure. But right now, I can see this kid being someone that we take into the next team as well. Because especially with the performances right now in the league, his potential will probably be upgraded if it keeps on being dynamic. So I am quite interested to see this guy in the future seasons as well. So we're going to keep him in mind and an Aribo quite impressive 75 rated at the age of 24 obviously not that high rated but quite an engine in that midfield and just gives us so much stability in that spot where he plays in so as i said guys it's five games in total we have played the first two in the next episode we will have the season finale we will play against hibernian we'll play against aberdeen and we will be playing against celtic to finish it off and at the end of the day we could potentially be lifting the trophy at Celtic's home ground. And that would be the, the, the definition of just digging one in right into your opponents, your rivals, just letting them know, hey, you failed. And that would be beautiful to be able to pull that off. Hopefully that's something that Stevie G could achieve at some point. But uh, I personally am very close to getting it done. Our manager rating isn't that great, but we'll be okay on the on that side of things. And now in terms of uh, job offers, maybe we have some new ones. Let's check it out. We have Norwich, Sheffield, Crystal Palace, Brentford. Interesting. Um... All of them in the championship. Yeah, I'm not interested in championship football, man. I've done enough things now by playing in South America, by playing now for Rangers. I am better than the championship in my opinion so we'll see what happens there but for now guys thank you so much for watching this episode it was a blast to record this one two hat tricks for morelos gakpo was outstanding and hopefully you guys have had a great day and i was able to take your mind off this horrible thing that is going on in the world and uh yeah hopefully we'll see each, see each other tomorrow again and maybe on stream tonight so have a good day take care and peace